What the f God damn it, I gotta stay monetized again. Can't can't swear for 30 seconds, that's it. So we the, the replay review session is like we're, all of our replay review sessions are for everybody. It's just that for the, the actual replays that we're doing are our Patreon supporters. Mm -hmm. If we do run out, we may take some other game, other Patreon or non Patreon replays. But we gotta show love to the people that are showing love to us. So I just wanted to go back to this particular moment because camera work is a lot allows you to decide where to move. So right now we see. If you are looking at the minimap, you see shit is going down in the bottom lane. Um, your camera, however, is just here on your Dazzle. If you look at the heroes, is your Naga remotely in danger? No. There's a ward here protecting her. She's just farming the jungle. You can clearly see if there's no heroes remotely close to the Naga, so you don't need to protect your Naga. Is the Necrophos in danger? No. There's a ward protecting the Necrophos. The Necrophos is showing alone in lane. There's no heroes there contesting him. Is your Dragon Knight in trouble? Yes. There's a bunch of heroes in the bottom lane. They're all attacking him. Do you need to be in the top lane? No. Do you need to be in the mid lane? No. Could you potentially affect the bottom lane by showing up and running there and possibly graving your Dragon Knight? Yes. But if you don't look there, how the fuck are you supposed to know whether you should be there or not? So you actually need to go move your camera. I basically spend all of my time looking at the minimap as a support. Like you should just be scanning the minimap, reading what's happening, reading the movements, and then responding accordingly because that is your job. You didn't feel like you achieved anything in the first 20 minutes, and here is exactly why. Even right now, if if I was playing this dazzle, I would already have read the situation, right? We've got the ward, we've got the ward. These two heroes are protected. They're not going to die. So right now, I would already read, this is the most dangerous set of heroes because look how far they are away from their tower and there's no vision guarding them from rotations from the shrine. So And he's I, pushing with DK ulti right now yeah. too. So he's applying pressure. They're going to want to respond to that. Yep. So at this exact moment, I would look at my TP scroll. It's off cooldown. And I would just immediately, preemptively make the TP to this tower because, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen? Probably nothing. Maybe they gank your Necrophos, but your Necro is pretty strong. So I would just TP to this tower and I'd just immediately start running, you know, through the trees. And if you'd done that rotation when you were standing over here, maybe you're about here at this point. You can show up, you can grave this DK, possibly save his life, maybe get a return kill. Um, and we're going to see why you didn't feel like you got anything done because, okay, now you move your camera there. We just watched you do that. And now you're just going to walk all the way to the bottom lane because you don't really know what you're supposed to do because the one place that you were supposed to be, you weren't there. And so, like we said, you didn't need to be near this Naga. He's not in trouble. You don't need to be near the Sacrifice. He's not in trouble. You did need to be near the two heroes that were in trouble and you weren't there. So yes, you don't feel like you're doing anything because you're not. And there is nothing to do at this current point. So you're just kind of aimlessly walking over to this lane because habit i don't know you're just trying to get here and we can see that you end up just basically walking all the way over here eventually getting to this lane you get one last hit and then you just tp to the top lane because oh there's a hero that's like kind of near my naga siren again so this particular movement is about as inefficient as you could possibly get and I just wanted to point that out because this is why you feel like you didn't accomplish anything because you were just being incredibly inefficient. And I don't mean this as like a flame. I'm just pointing it out because that is the whole purpose of this replay review and what you wanted to have looked at. When you're a support, uh, the way that you're protecting this Naga is by warding up here and then letting him play on his own and farm and making space on the enemy side of the map like with your team so basically like you don't want to be playing this naga right now because he's not strong he wants to be farming your dk strong your necro strong you want to be playing with them giving naga the space on the opposing side of the map forcing the entire team down there and then your jungle is free for the naga to farm because the enemy team's gonna be so busy dealing with you the naga can just free farm up here but you've been kind of following the naga around which i understand because you guys are friends and you're party queuing but in general, like, Naga wants nobody to be around her. Like, Necro shouldn't be here either because Naga wants to be farming all of this. Naga wants to be level 12 right now, not level 8. You know, like, this hero wants to be just 
completely ignored and nobody knows that she exists. But if you're there, you're, you know, you and Naga is like, that's two heroes. That's like half your, almost half your team. So like, if you're there, it's going to draw people there. You want to draw people away from your Naga Siren. And like I said, generally, like that's been the case for the last one to two years. That's like the typical kind of four protect one. You protect her by going away from her. The meta might change, but as of right now, like there's going to be an anti mage, a Terra Blade, a Naga uh, on your team that you don't want to play near them. You want to play near your heroes that want to fight at that moment. Like that bottom tower, you could have that if you're down there with the uh, with the DK. And that goes back to what Donnie was doing when he initially started uh, looking at like your camera movement and stuff. Uh, basically, like you want to look at the heroes on your team, the heroes on the enemy team, be like, who wants me to be near them right now? Who wants to fight right now? Go to them. Like, go to the heroes that want to fight and just be as strong as you can with that group of heroes and then let your farmers farm. Let let your heroes do their job, you know? You don't need to be helping Naga farming the jungle because she can do that on her own as long as she has a ward. <laughs>